I have for sure overcurled my hair today. It looks huge. I'm thinking it actually looks a bit permy. <laughs> Hello everybody, today I wanted to do something that so many of you have been asking me to do. Let me just check my mics on. As you all know, I am a huge fan of Lush. It was one of the first things I ever wrote about on my blog back in 2009. Long, old, ass, ass, old time ago. And if you are familiar with Lush, you know that when seasons come and go, they bring out new and very exciting products. So many of you have been saying, what do you think of the Easter stuff? Please do an Easter Lush haul. And I was like, I haven't been to Lush yet. This needs to be rectified. This is completely not on. So, went to Lush, got some bits and pieces, thought I would share them with you because I know you all really enjoy it. So the first one is a bath bomb and this is can't get him out, I don't want to break him. No, Nala, it's not for you. How cute is this little guy? This is Humpty Dumpty, and he is a bath bomb, and it says, crack a smile as you break open this sweet, caramel-scented Brazilian orange oil bomb. Oh my goodness, this smells sweet, but not sickly sweet. It kind of reminds me of the Honey I Wash the Kids soap slightly. Um, okay what is inside this guy. Oh, how cute! It says, crack a smile as his outer shell breaks away. <coughs> you! Revealing a hidden alter ego, a perfectly formed fried egg. Oh. If you're in a hump and down in the dumps, it's now easy to flip your spirits into sunny side up. I'm excited to use him, he's very cute. And he smells delicious. Oh no! I'm not sure black jeans was a good idea. I'm wearing black jeans and a white top. Next is which came first, bath bomb. Crack open this generously sized pink egg to coax out the chick inside and enjoy three excellent soaks over a couple of nights. Or use the entire bomb at once to infuse your bath water with deliciously sweet fuchsia waters brimming over with fruity fragrance. Look at this. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Oh, I really want to use this. What do you think, Nala? Smell it. Ooh. I feel like this smells like a Lush shop. You know when you walk in or as you walk past, you get that big like whiff of like Lush. I feel like that's what this is. It's kind of like a Lush scent. Oh, I really like it though. Okay, next is a classic and this is Fluffy Egg. So this one has been around for quite a while. Here he is, eee, little fluffy egg. Smells like um, Snow Fairy, basically. Snow Fairy slash the comforter sort of scent, so very sweet, a lot more sweet than the Humpty Dumpty one. Comforting candy fragrance. Um, pop it in the bath and be tickled with pink. Cute, so that one's slightly smaller if you weren't, if you were after something not as big and grand. Next one is Golden Egg. Soak in a toffee scented bath of molten gold and fair trade Colombian cocoa butter. I don't know if they've had this one before. I feel like they have, but I don't remember it being toffee scented. The only thing that could put some of you off this one is, it is the most glittery thing I have ever seen. And that whole bag is now full of glitter. Oh my god, but it smells so freaking good. The, the scent of this takes me right back to like Lush four years ago. If you don't like glitter, I mean, it's obvious, avoid this one, but I just think this is insane. And I think this is a bath, bath bomb melt. So uh, these are slightly different to the actual bath bombs, which is a very interesting concept to me. I don't think I've ever had one of these before. I'm pretty sure they had it last year. I'm speaking and dust is like, flying off, I'm pretty sure. Can you see that? This is for sure the glitteriest thing Lush has ever made. I want the whole world. No, daddy, I want it now. I'm not a huge fan of glittery baths, so I might have to like hose myself down afterwards. Don't wanna be getting glitter in all the wrong places. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Now what? I can't bear to put it on the black jeans. 
Do I rub it on the bed throw or my jeans? Or do I just go and get a tissue and stop being a lazy biatch? Bubble bars. These are some of my faves. Ta-da! It's the carrot bubble bars. I love these. They used to be three uh, orange ones and now there's different colors. Oh, I love the smell. These smell so different to anything Lush has ever done and I don't know how to describe this. Oh, it's quite like perfumey. Um, hold one of these reusable carrots under running water to send bubbly clouds of bun buchu, lemon and grapefruit scurrying across your bar. Very um, light and fresh, like a really lovely perfume. Next one is ultraviolet, rich rosewood and sweet vanilla leaf bubbles to help you find the silver lining. Look at this! How cool is that? It's like, I don't know, a cake or something. Oh my god, this smells like a field in the middle of summer with flowers in it and like a lot of fresh grass. It's very like, I just don't know if in my seven years of YouTube I have ever extended my vocabulary when trying to describe scents, but it is the hardest thing ever. Until we get smell vision I just feel like my crappy explanations are gonna have to do. Or you're just gonna have to take my word for it and go into Lush and sniff it yourself. Again, this is a scent I feel like Lush have never really done before. It's really fresh, it's really uplifting and I feel like a lot of Lush scents are quite cosy and I feel like this isn't a cosy scent. That is lovely. Next one is Ladybird, which is a bubble bar and this is Ladybird, Ladybird, Fly Away Home, crumble under running water for a bath with fruity floral geranium and peppermint waters. <gasps> oh my god, I love minty scents. I don't know why I shouted that. Oh look, look at him or her. This smells like blackcurrant sweeties. A little bit comfortery sort of smell, um, but with a really lovely kind of like whiff of peppermint as well, which I really like. You guys know I love everything minty. They're, again, very fresh. I'm loving all these fresh scents. That's really good. I'm excited to see what color the water goes with this as well. Next thing I have is this, which is a bouncy bunny shower gel. Now, I don't really buy many of the shower jellies. They are so cute, and I'm excited to see what this shape is because it looks like a shape. <gasps> oh, guys, look. Look at him. It's a rabbit. Here's the bunny. He's sort of like creasing in on himself. Oh, <laughs> oh, I don't know if I like the smell of him. He smells like orange sweeties. Brazilian orange oil is brightening and toning on the skin and fills your shower with zesty, mood-boosting fragrance. Yeah, this reminds me of like je orange jelly sweets. So if you like quite citrusy, refreshing, zingy scents, I think you'll really like that, but it's not quite my bag. Plus, I think Alfie will really like that. He's much more into his kind of citrusy scents. I also picked up some of the gifts because they're just too cute and I wanted to share them with you. So this one is the funky bunny. Look at him. Let's get his ears like bunny ears. Ah! What you get in here is pink fun for refreshing fruity candy scented bubbles, orange fun, purple fun. So fun is the stuff that's like a bubble bar but in like a long thing, kind of like Play-Doh and you can mold it into whatever you want. And you also get the bouncy bunny shower jelly which I don't know, I just think that's such a cute little like Easter gift. Do any of you give gifts for Easter? Because obviously there's a lot of Easter eggs going around, you sort of buy people Easter eggs, but does anyone ever get someone like an Easter gift? Because if you do, these would just be the cutest thing ever. And then there's this guy who is my personal fave, which is the yellow bunny, and he's called Bouncy Bunny. And in this one you get Spring Bunny Bath Bomb. Ooh, let Let's you and me bounce to a bath of energizing Sicilian lemon oil. Oh, I didn't have him in my little Easter collection, so maybe I missed out on that one, but you should keep your eyes open for him. Um, I really like how Lush have gone down the very like fresh, fruity scents for Easter, because, I don't know, 
I feel like they're so good at getting the kind of comforting and warm scents but it's nice to have a bit of a variation and I feel like if you don't really like the Lush scents around Christmas time or um, the kind of all year round range, like the permanent range, I think you'll really like these. Somewhere Over the Rainbow Soap, Bouncy Bunny Shower Jelly and Bright Side Bubble Bar Mini. So lots of zesty scents in this one. What noise do rabbits make? Do rabbits make noises? And the last one, which, I mean, if I was given this at Easter, I would be a very happy bunny. <laughs> okay, so this is, hang on, hang on there, carrot! It's just called carrot. So you've got the green tissue and you've got this tube. I love this colour theme. Can we just take a moment? Like, look how, like, the bright colours. I love this. It feels very like 90s. Like I'm pretty sure I had a tracksuit that was like this. <laughs> so in this, you've got the Experimenter Bath Bomb, which is one of my favorites. Although it has so many colors in it, it does make your bath go gray. That's my only downside. Um, you have the Fluffy Egg Bath Bomb. You've got the Bunch of Carrots and you've got the Spring Bunny Bath Bomb. Just like who comes up with these concepts? They're just the best ideas ever. I love that, I think that's my fave. My hands feel so vile, I need to wash them before I end this video, sorry guys. Oh no, there's no hand towel. So that's everything that I picked up in Lush recently. If you wanna try any of those, go there quick because obviously these things are only limited to Easter time, um, but I'm sure there's something there for everybody because there's such a lovely variation of scents. I am super impressed with that range. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. I love you very, very much, and I will see you again soon. Bye.